Comic Book Nation, I am your host, Chris Killian, and welcome to Flashback. Today we have an awesome special guest for you guys. He's had parts in all kinds of cool stuff. Homeland, White House Down, Godzilla. You can catch him next as Mr. Kwan in the Power Rangers reboot, but we love him most as Captain David Singh from The Flash, Patrick Sabongi. Thanks for being here with me, Patrick. It's my pleasure, Chris. Uh, hey, what's up to all you fans out there? Hey man, so so David is a relatively new character to the comics, and he's slightly different there than how he has been portrayed on the show. Uh, so I was just curious, did you research him at all when you got the part, or did you just want to focus on your own take? Uh, no, I definitely researched him. Um, you know, I kind of I kind of went in and went back and read as much uh, of uh, of the old comic book series as I could. And you know, there's a couple different iterations of the Flash world, um, and I kind of zeroed in on. On you know on Captain Singh and what he was uh, what he was up to and what he was about in those series, uh, but then in discussing the show, um, you know, with the pilot director David Nutter and with uh, Andrew Kreisberg and, and Greg Berlanti, um, they were clear that we're going to draw a lot of inspiration from previous iterations of the Flash universe, but we were going to allow ourselves to discover what this world was and what this version of the universe was. So. In as much as we drew a lot of inspiration from that, um, right. we had kind of carte blanche to, to do our own thing with it as well. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Um, so when the show initially started, your character, he was pretty hard on Barry. Now as the show's gone on, he softened up to him a little bit uh, in The Flash as well. Are we going to see their relationship develop further, or do you think some bigger conflict is going to come up between them again now that we are in a new timeline with all these metahumans popping up in the third season? Yeah, that's a great question. I think um, the relationship between Captain Singh and Barry is, uh, uh, it's very complicated, you know. Um, obviously, there's the professionalism issue, and Barry's kind of lackadaisical at work, and, you know, um, so Captain Singh expects a lot from him, but I do think there's a kind of a paternal, uh, paternal instinct with him, because Singh is so close with Joe, uh, and you know, Singh knew Barry's father, and so there's a sympathy element there. Um, and the fact that Barry needed so much help and that Joe had to take him in, I think Singh was around through all of that, and so he expects a lot from Barry. Um, obviously, Barry's kind of uh, shaped up a little bit at work, so Singh is a little bit less hard on him. Um, I think they have a common goal. They, they, they're kind of cool working together now, and the dynamic constantly changes because there are other characters being introduced that have issues with Barry and maybe Singh has to you know protect isolate uh, you know protect it and kind of uh, support Barry if because there are other detractors right well one of the fun things that I've always enjoyed about the show is the alternate universes and getting to see different versions of these characters so David is the captain of the CCPD but his alternate version as we saw is actually a criminal was that fun getting to play two different versions of the same person? Oh, absolutely. I think everybody, the whole cast was really jazzed about discovering their alternate egos in, in, uh, on Earth 2. Uh, you know, I mean, a lot of the other characters, they get to have fun and spread their wings a little bit. Obviously, Tom Cavanaugh with his Wells, you know, he gets to do something different all the time. Um, and then everybody's got their, uh, their metahuman powers that they're discovering, so they get to go that way. So for me, this was my one chance at, at really uh, going against the grain. And we had so much fun just discussing you know, the nature of who he is and then developing the look. It's Honestly, my Earth 2 look has got to be one of my favorite looks, <laughs> not just on Flash, but of anything, I've ever, even in my own personal style. I mean, it was just the dopest look that I've ever had. I don't know. It's, just, it's not as dope as the hat you're wearing right now. That's pretty oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a hat guy. Well, I'm in New York now, so I, I you know, have occasion to get out and shop and, and get some new hats. Oh, it looks good on you, man. Are there any plans uh, with Captain David in the future? Like, for example, are we going to get to see you throw down in any big fight scenes? Um, I mean, you know, every now and then they drag him out and, he, you know, and he's, he's busting caps at the bad guys. Uh, hopefully we get to see some more of that in the future. I'm still hopeful and curious about his personal life. Uh, you know, in the comic books, obviously, uh, a big part of his character is that he's in a romantic relationship with the Pied Piper. Right. Uh, and, I mean, I can't say one way or the other. They haven't uh, said that that's not going to happen. 
They've hinted a couple times that that's still a possibility in the future. So I'm hoping we get to see some of that down the line. Yeah, fingers crossed. I think that would be great to explore that. Uh, changing the subject a little, you are going to be appearing soon in the upcoming Power Rangers reboot, which all of us in the office are super excited about. Um, I know you're sworn to secrecy about like any plot details of the movie, but can you give us any details about your character, Mr. Kwan, and what his connection to the Rangers are? Um, well, Mr. Kwan is one of the dads. Uh, he's one of the parents uh, of one of the team members. I can't really say more than that, but um, I mean, I'm just as much of a, of a, a, a fan as you guys are, so uh, I was just kind of so excited to get the news that I'd be a part of it, so, you know, uh, I'm just really stoked about it as well. Yeah, okay. Well, last question, and I'll let you go. Um, something that I didn't think of until talking to you uh, right now, but I really like the idea. You've spent a little time now with the Flash and a little time with the Power Rangers. Who wins if a big fight goes down between Power Rangers and the Justice League? Who you got? Oh, wow. The whole Justice League now? That's. Uh, I mean, it's five on five, I would think, right? That. Yeah. Uh, that's a great question. I'm going to have to go Justice League just because yeah. the experience, mm -hmm. you know? Power Rangers, they got that youthful enthusiasm, but there's something about, you know, years, you know, right. year, a battle that kind of teaches you something, I think. That's exactly where I was at with it. I, I agree with you. That's a good call. Uh, well, that's all for us, guys. Patrick, thank you so much again for talking with me tonight. It was an honor. It was a pleasure. Thanks so much. You guys go and follow Patrick on Twitter at Patrick Sabongi and make sure you share this with all your friends. And you guys keep tuning in to watch The Flash every Tuesday night on The CW. As always, hit us up with a follow on Twitter if you don't already, at Comic Book, or you can find us on Instagram at Comic Book Now. For ComicBook.com, I'm Chris Killian, and this has been Flashback.